everyone. Some of you watched the live video where I was giving my pineapples a final coat of resin. Well, this is a video of where I created them. Um, it has to be in hyperlapse because this, this took a while. I did four pineapples and it took me about two hours to do both, um, both the videos, the recordings for the four pineapples. So um, I'm sure nobody has the time to watch for two hours hearing me ramble in real time. Um, but I did make a hyperlapse and I wanted to share. What I did here was I used the Liquitex acrylic inks and I put uh, some drops in the premixed resin cup. So I took premixed resin, I put it in different cups. I added a couple of drops of the Liquitex liquid acrylic, the liquid acrylic ink, not the acrylic colors, not the paint, but the ink. It comes with a dropper and I mixed it up. And uh, the reason I did that was because I haven't seen people do that. And I just wanted to see what effect it would have. It turned out that they were not really opaque. So you can see the grain of wood. And I actually like that. That gives it such an organic feel, such a, such a, just a rustic look. It's pretty, but, but you know that, you know, it's wood. And um, I used the Liquitex acrylic ink gold as well in this. It wasn't um, paint again, so it kind of had the, the dimension and the translucency to it that I wanted. I didn't really follow any specific technique of painting in resin. I have never done this before. This was my first time doing it. And I didn't really um, have a plan. <laughs> I usually don't. I was just having fun and I was just gonna see how it's, it was all gonna turn out. And um, after I did all, I finished all the resin cups, the little resin cups that you see that have the colors in them. I finished pouring all of those before I finally did the the Blanco Blanco, the alcoholic, that gave it that very cool lacing effect even without using the heat gun initially. And then I added um, the gold alcohol ink, which dispersed beautifully. And when I used the heat gun, it dispersed even more. And I just loved how it kind of billowed out and mixed in with the colors and the resin and the white, and it just kind of came together. And a lot of it started dripping from the sides and the bottom. So I was just picking it up with a popsicle stick and just uh, putting pink accents back where I wanted. There really wasn't any method to my madness. It was just, you know, kind of going with the flow and uh, doing what seemed right for that particular painting. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, I just love how these two shaped out. Um, they're, they're quite dainty. Okay, so now for the next two, um, I did the same thing. I used the Liquitex acrylic um, ink, but I also used the golden acrylic paint, the high flow acrylic paint that I used for my acrylic pores, for my fluid acrylic pores. And again, it was an experiment to see how the golden fluid acrylic paint that was high flow would interact with the Liquitex acrylic ink, which is also kind of high flow, higher flow than the high flow liquid acrylic paint um, but also how the opaqueness of the paint would interact with the translucency of the inks and I also mixed glitter in this in the other two pineapples I had actually sprinkled glitter you didn't see that part but I had sprinkled glitter on top after I was done painting in this I wanted to see how the glitter would show up if I mixed it in with the color so again, um, experimentations, just having fun, seeing where it goes. I will say that I uh, did the right thing by not mixing a whole lot of resin uh, that I was going to need for all four pineapples. I did two first, then I moved them over and I mixed my resin again and I did the next two. If I had done all four at the same time, I can guarantee you that I would have been stressing out over an exothermic reaction that was about to happen in that cup of resin and it would have happened and I would have wasted a lot of resin. So I've already wasted um, resin quite a few times because of the exothermic reaction. The first time I had no idea what was happening. The second time I kind of guessed, but I was like, eh, I'm gonna give it a try. The third time I knew better, but I didn't do better. So anyway, here, same thing, going with the flow, poured the colors in first. I did the dark blue from the Golden Flow, the liquid acrylic paint, and then I did the light blue from the Liquitex acrylic ink, mixed in glitter, um, put in some bronze in this, um, and then added the white, the Blanco Blanco alcohol ink, and the gold alcohol ink, and um, the mixative, I mean. And then um, for the green, I did the same thing. The base I used was the more opaque golden, uh, the high flow acrylic paint. 
and then the lighter green you see here mixed in with the glitter is the translucent um, liquitex acrylic ink now in the green one i don't think you can tell in the hyperlapse but my resin started feeling a little gummy and i tried warming it up with my heat gun and then trying to spread it a little bit but i just knew when i was doing that that i was going to get bumps and resin is self-leveling and all of that but it's not very forgiving if you don't work fast with it and i kind of had run out of time um, but I also, I, I could feel the cups were warming up, so I knew that this, this just had to be a rush job. So I didn't get to really um, play with it the way I wanted in the green one. It was more of kind of a, okay, running against the clock here, gotta finish this, gotta finish this, do it really fast, just pour everything on and see what happens. So um, that's challenging and it's stressful, but and you don't want to take away the fun from resin work so i have decided not to do two pieces at once especially when i'm doing resin painting pouring resin over yes that's fine because you're just pouring it over making sure everything's fine taking out the bubbles and you're done but painting and resin requires more than that it requires more time so maybe doing one project at a time would be my advice um, maybe really fast and you can do a great job of it i couldn't i just felt really that i was struggling with that second pineapple um, once I finished painting it, I did put some uh, green sand that I had handy uh, just to accentuate it. I thought the sparkle that I had mixed in, the glitter that I had mixed in, did not quite have the sparkle that I wanted it to have. So I sprinkled some glitter over on top after I did the green sand on this. And then I looked at my blue one and I thought it needed some more. Okay, so this is next morning. I had painted those pineapples. The previous afternoon i could not sleep i kept checking in on them i was just so worried about the sides and the drips and you know never having painted on something like this before never having painted in resin before i just had no idea so i woke up in the middle of the night i think it was around 1 30 or 2 maybe even it had been about six hours roughly since i had finished painting the pineapple so the resin was still sticky but um, so it was malleable but it wasn't hard and I peeled off the green pineapples tape and it was messy. My gloves kept getting stuck and it was just not easy. And I have rheumatoid arthritis and in the beginning stages, it was just rough. So I decided not to do the blue pineapple then. So this is next morning. I um, am taking the tape off. This took about 20 minutes. It is totally worth it. I know it takes, it feels like it's taking a long time, but look at the sides. I mean, they just came out so clean and uh, the base is untouched. So if you want to prevent sanding later on, please, 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 before you start your resin projects, tape. Tape as much as you can, tape tight, tape securely. Your edges are going to be beautiful, trust me. It takes a while, but it's so worth it. I did have some leaks, but nothing too bad, nothing that I can't live without. So just make sure that you're taping um, every project before you start doing any kind of resin work it is worth the trouble because it's actually saving you a lot of time and trouble later on. So once I had taken off the tape from both of these pineapples um, and I had taken off the tape off the pink ones too, I went and added some dots with my Pebio pen that uh, is designed for ceramics. And I just like making dots. It's just it's just been my signature style. I don't know why I add them. I just think that they give dimension to a piece. They just add some um, additional piece of interest. Um, also, it's immediately identifiable as something that I do because uh, I've done it for all my pieces, except the resin, uh, the recent resin creations that you've seen that I've been using casting resin for. But um, for all of these, for all of my paintings, I've always dotted. So it's just something I've done and I enjoy doing it. And uh, it's, it's been fun. So these turned out really good. You'll see uh, the dots kind of um, have a raised effect from on top of the resin. And then when I did the final pour, you, couldn't, you can't really feel the dots as much uh, or not at all in some places, but uh, they do look quite, quite elegant uh, with these colors. And they just add another, another piece of interest, I think. And I just love the lacing in this blue one. I was looking at it, I couldn't believe that I did that. It, it's just crazy to me to see and the gold somehow it's so amazing how it got these ridges which added just some more depth to it and um, 
it, it's just stunning in person. You see the vibrancy of the colors, the richness of the tones, the resin just captures it so beautifully. And yes, these are trivets, and yes, you'll be using it when you're entertaining friends and putting stuff on it, but just as a home decor item, even if you were to never use it as a trivet, I think these would just make for some amazing conversation starters in your house. And even if I want it, I don't think I could make these again. So these really are one of a kind pieces. They are unique, they're original, they're hand painted in front of you. You saw them being created. Um, I don't wanna give them away, <laughs> but I don't wanna give anything that I create away anyway. But I, I feel I have to remind myself that the reason I create is so that I can spread smiles in other people's lives that i can provide a little bit of joy and make you a little bit happier than you started out your particular day before buying this or before buying anything from me so that's why i create so anyway this is all glittery it's shiny it's sparkly my daughter loves this one and she insisted on holding it i love it too i love all four of them it was a fun project to do these i had a lot of learning lessons and um I just hope you liked watching the video and if you have any questions about the process, just shoot me an email or a message. Thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy these close-ups and again, let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to answer, more than happy to help. Totally love Promarine Supplies Epoxy Resin, which I use and the Jacquard uh, Piñata products that I've been using for all my other resin work. But for this, I used... Um, the Blanco Blanco and the gold from the alcohol ink line and the mixative line, but also used the Liquidex uh, liquid acrylic inks and the gold, the golden um, high fluid acrylics. So excellent, wonderful project for me to learn a lot of stuff from. And uh, I just love the outcome. It's very rich. It's uh, very detailed. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate your taking the time. I know this was a long video and if you made it to the end, Yay! You saw all of it being done right here in front of you in real time. Thanks again.